everybody welcome back to my mother popcorn my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video if you're someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about netflix's newest film to all the boys always and forever Now, to all the boys, always and forever, or part three of this trilogy, it was released on Netflix on February the 12th. Of course, um, these are Netflix originals, so you can find all three parts on Netflix right now. Honestly, I did not see part one until last year when P.S. I Still Love You came out. Um, the movie generally, honestly, did not really call my attention, but then a sequel came up, and then, like, everybody was raving about it, and I'm just like, okay, well, I gotta... Let's see what this is about. I do have a review on that um, movie as well. I'll go ahead and link it. I think this is where the card comes up on this side, if not it's on this side. So in Always and Forever, we have made it to a senior year. We, of course, are still following the lovely couple that is Laura Jean and Peter. Of course, they kind of feel like they have their life just kind of like planned out. Like they're graduating high school. They're going to go to Stanford. That's where Peter really wants to go. And of course, Laura Jean is just kind of like, I'm gonna follow my man. Somewhere around there, we get a little trip to New York City. Laura Jean, I guess, in a way, falls for somebody else. Not like P.S. I still love you. No, she does fall in love with New York City because, like, why wouldn't you? New York City is absolutely amazing. I've only been there once, but I loved it. Loved it. I've always wanted to go back, but I never did. So, unlike the previous two movies, I think it was the previous two, if not for sure, it was just part two. Uh, where we were like in a little love a triangle we kind of in a way are still in a love triangle but we're gonna kind of take away the boy and then just kind of add new york city so kind of peter is competing with new york that's kind of like the drama within this particular movie we don't really get that full like nasty ugly little drama we get cutesy little high school drama you know like they don't really know any better we're not getting like euphoria shit you know it's, it really is like i said it's a pg movie so we just kind of have like, that dynamic of what decision do i really want to make now honestly you guys because you know i'm gonna keep it real with you they're not memorable for me personally because you might love it it's like oh because i think my sister really enjoys them but i do recommend them because like i said they're enjoyable they're really really cute movies to be honest with you guys the pacing is really good so i don't really feel like you would regret watching it so before i do give you my overall thoughts and my final score if you haven't already go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new i am trying to hit 500 subscribers before the summer so hopefully you can help me get to that goal it is a really nice trilogy not necessarily memorable in my own personal opinion don't come after me for all my to all the boys lovers out there i didn't cry i don't think i cried in any of the three parts but they're really really cute movies you guys are just so cute they're sweet they're innocent they're adorable you really cheer for this couple and they're just like oh it still manages to keep the charm the cuteness of the previous two films with still adding something new and fresh to kind of keep you engaged and just overall it closes this trilogy off perfectly you guys but with all that said i am still gonna give it a medium popcorn i'm actually filming this video last but this is gonna be video like number two that's coming out out of my four videos that i'm doing today don't be surprised when you see this rating again <laughs> Alright you guys, if you've seen To All The Boys Always and Forever, let me know down below what did you think about it. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Which of the three parts is your favorite? Go ahead and comment down below. Now if To All The Boys is not your cup of tea when it comes to a Valentine's type of film if you haven't already go ahead and check out my video that i did upload last week it is 14 movies six genres i kind of wanted to incorporate a little bit of, of something different and all these movies not necessarily romantic movies but they do have some sort of romance within them so until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye